Here at Mumway, the youth program incorporates all ages. No matter what age you are, we have some sort of a programming that can help you. We have over six programs that are designed for youth in early childhood to adulthood. I've been uh, coming to Turtle Island ever since I was about 10, 11 years old. And now, now I am a pace worker. We do arts and crafts here. We have like basketball games or hockey games or even volleyball. From Pace, you know, they get those awesome leadership skills. They're playing in the gym, they're working with our mentors, and then you know what, they want to be those kids. We're the ones that grew up in this neighborhood too, we can reflect on that, and we know how they grew up. I think Pace helps kids in, in very multiple ways. I think it gives an opportunity for children who haven't had the opportunity before to engage and, and to um, participate in their culture. Well, there's instructors who teach the kids how to dance and then we play games afterwards. In Power Club, what we do is um, we need to drop proud and then we have to smudge in. And we get to one well in the circle and dance. And, and we get to play games in the, inside the circle and we, and we have snack. We operate about three times a week. We're at, on Wednesdays, we're at Turtle Island Community Center. On Thursdays, we're at the Freight House. And on Fridays, we're at 363 McGregor. They all start at 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. So the Hunters and Gatherers program is a program for youth age 8 to 13. It focuses on a lot of cultural programming. We do a lot of survival skills having to do with the outdoors. We also um, have a lot of fun. We do a lot of games and activities and just, you know, being active and being healthy mentally, physically. I like to come and just like be with others and go have fun. We would learn stuff that uh, we, we would usually learn at school. Just learn about like right choices and what to do when we get older. I think it's important for youth to be involved in learning of Aboriginal culture. Because they keep the Aboriginal teachings in our generation. Uh, youth Council is a dedicated group of uh, youth that are meeting every week and are here to improve the community. What we have is two youth councils. We have the first youth council, which is under 12, and then we have an older youth council, which is above 12. And one of the things that we try to incorporate here is having the older youth mentoring the younger youth. At Youth Council, we get to pick ideas of what we want to do at TI. We first open up with um, the honor song and we do a few teachings and then we talk about what's happening in the community and just things that we can do to make the community better and how to get more kids interacted with it. PASS stands for Positive Adolescent Sexuality Support and I work with a lot of the girls. It's important because it, it educates our Aboriginal youth um, on numerous topics. It's not only about teen dating, teen violence, um, healthy relationships. It's educating them on STDs, on HIV. It's umbrella for numerous things. PASS is on request basis for the community and residential sites. Uh, programs can run anytime in the day. Uh, also, I do a lot of our, our community sites are run in the evening uh, for the after school program. So it's 4.30 to 6.30, but again, it's uh, on a request basis. The Future is Yours focuses on employability skills. We also do life skills. We give youth the opportunity to volunteer. We build relationships and uh, just get them out into the community and building their resume. In program, we learn about relationships, healthy relationships, bad relationships. We get to know each other and just bond with people your age. I think it's really important because it keeps youth of our generation off the streets. It gives us a source of income, something to do every day. It keeps us from getting involved with gangs. In this program, like, you're very open with everybody and like you get really comfortable and push past your comfort zone. So I think it's good for people who are like shy. 
Programs like The Future is Yours and other programs are important just to get kids the skills, the confidence, um, and show them a new aspect of life uh, that they might not think is possible for themselves, get them setting goals and meeting goals, um, and just helping them turn their lives around. We meet every Thursday uh, from 4.30 to 6.30, and then on some Saturdays, and usually those are all day trainings. <laughs> Going throughout all these different programs, they end up getting all the skills they need to be those leaders in the community. That's something that youth programs does. We don't just, you don't just come to our programs and then you leave and you're done. We keep you for life. We're still there to support them.